What's up guys? Welcome back. This is Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And today we uh, got us a 1968 Chevelle convertible. This one here has a believe to be 350 under the hood with power steering. Decent looking car. What I'm gonna do is walk around, point out any kind of flaws so you know exactly what you're buying before you get here. I do this with every car on the lot. We got 100 detailed pictures of every car. We also have financing, shipping information, wheels, tires, parts, and accessories. We're also doing a test drive video, uh, taking it down the road, seeing how it runs and drives. And I can already tell you now, I drove it here. It runs and drives awesome. Let's get started up here in the front. Coming around this front bumper in pretty good shape, nice and clean. Headlight bezels, not too bad. The grill's in good shape as well. Do got a lot of chips on the front end. See some scratches there, a couple chips. Got some chips up here in the corner. What I'm gonna do is go all the way down this paint job. Uh, it looks like it's gonna need a paint job. From what I could tell, there's a lot of spots on this car, a lot of runs. Coming down the front end, you can see some of the trims a little bit uh, scarred up. Running down this lower panel here, you can see we got rust in the door. A couple bubbles here and there. A lot of chips down in the lower portion. This edge of the door looks great. The back quarter right here has got some rust in it. Coming over the fender into the back section. Doesn't look bad back here. Going back down the mid section here, we've got a lot of scratches and overspray. But I'm going to go ahead and say this one needs to be repainted to be anything uh, perfect. You could drive it just the way it is. A lot of people will. Scratch right there. Coming down the top of the fender. <clears throat> Chrome trim, nice mirrors. Trim around the vent window, it's got some pitting in it. They siliconed that up for some reason. I guess they thought water was getting up under there. They did it all the way around the trim. You got it busting up right here. Some bubbles. Coming around the back end. Back bumper's in decent shape. It's still not perfect. Dual exhaust out the back. Get a few scratches. A little bit of overspray. Put my maggot tag back on it so I don't forget it. Weather stripping looks pretty good in the trunk. Other than this part's kind of ate up. This, I mean, it feels fairly new. This part's got some little rough spots on it. The trunk here, it's got a lot of little issues. Just the paint's cracking. The, the pan actually looks pretty good. It's just a lot of paint cracks. You can see where they, they put some kind of trunk spatter in it before. You can see it's kind of flaking off everywhere. Package trays in decent shape. A little bit of surface rust. Spare tire up in here. All right. Let's go ahead and shut this down, see how it shuts. It shuts good. All right, we're coming around this side now. What I'm gonna do is go down the bottom portion, come up the mid section and end on the top. Let's go ahead and get started here. So you got some, uh, looks like some Bondo or paint chipping off there. You can see that in the back. You got a big scar here. Some more scars. Let's come on around this hump. Looks like it's been worked there as well. Coming on down. Get some chips in the paint. 
a little bit of rust in the corner there on the door you got a big dent in your trim here a scratch right there see the trim's kind of scarred up a little bit on the bottom here all right going down the mid section of the car light scratches chips in the paint see a lot of little scratches and chips in the paint coming down the top section you got a little bit of bubbling it looks like chemical peel on top of the paint there they did still got silicone all the way around that trim back here see paint kind of chipping up looks like new door handles new mirrors no this mirror's not new the other side is this one's got a little bit of pitting popping up on it vent window looks good silicone around where the top comes down all right let's go ahead and check the interior out on this one Go ahead, place your bets. Do you think that horn works a little game we like to play on this channel? This car actually smells like leather. I guess they maybe put some conditioner on the seats. Checking out the door. Looks pretty good. Not too bad. Coming down the edge. Check up under it. A little bit of rust coming through there. And on the corner, there's a little bit of rust. overspray some of your trim there carpet's not in bad shape the seat looks great front and rear i do know on the top it comes up slow it works you got to help it up it's got a switch down there you can flip and it'll stay on come back here you got to help it up uh, you can see detailed pictures of the top up on my website at maplemotors.com it is in good condition all right sitting down in here the dash does not look too bad it's nice and clean you got a radio in your glove box they just set it in there they didn't want to cut no holes i've seen that plenty of times uh, you got your factory radio there it does not work all right start her up she starts up good got a nice cam in it of course i can try that for you but it's not gonna work Blower motor is working on this one. No AC wipers. They do work on this one. Uh, Looks all your gauges are working. Show you the mileage. I can't stand behind that. It's a 68 model. I've also got some aftermarket gauges down here showing the oil pressure and the engine tip. Go ahead, try that horn, y'all ready? It works. Everything works on this one, guys. It's got a great sound to it. It's pretty good. Like I said, check out the test drive video, man. This thing runs and drives awesome. This be a good candidate for a new paint job, get the body work straightened out. You got a nice drop top convertible with good interior that runs and drives great. And uh, just from what we've done this year, convertible Chevelle under 30, that's a good price. Motor's nice and quiet. Also got all your insulation up under the hood still. Coming down with the hood, it's a little stiff. I like to shake them back and forth, that way you don't bend the hood.
Okay guys, I'm gonna give you some undercarriage shots. We're gonna end this video and uh, head on back to the lot. Get some test drive in. Let's look up under it. I got 100 detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. So check that out. Appreciate y'all watching. Thanks again, guys. Uh, definitely look for that test drive video. Right now, we're currently uh, restocking the car lot with about 16 new cars. I said 15 the other day, but it just keeps going up. So every week, we should have 10 to 15 cars. And every month, we push about 50 to 60 out of the lot. So watch maplemotors.com on Mondays to see the new inventory first. You can also get close to 100 detailed pictures, financing, shipping, wheels, tires, parts, accessories. We'll get you hooked up. I appreciate y'all watching. And thanks again, guys. That test drive video is located the last 30 seconds of this video.